Running for president has always been expensive, but campaign budgets have exploded in recent years, from a few hundred million dollars in 1980 to nearly four billion in 2020. Where does it all come from? Individuals and corporations. And the money flows to campaigns and political action committees, or PACs. Individuals can only give a few thousand dollars to a candidate's campaign, but can get around this by donating to PACs, which then give money to the campaigns. Corporations can only contribute to PACs. To escape all the limits, there's a different category of so-called super PACs that can spend money to influence the election, usually on advertising, but are not allowed to coordinate with the candidate's campaign. A lot of money going a lot of places, but does it matter? Let's take a look back at that spending chart. If we break it down by how much each party spent in each election, we see Democrats started spending much more than Republicans starting about 10 years ago, ahead of the 2016 election. That year, Hillary Clinton outspent Donald Trump by almost two to one, yet she lost. The loser also spent more in 1984, 1996, and 2004. So, why isn't money the definitive answer to winning an election? There are many factors, the decreasing reach of expensive TV ads, and rising partisanship among them. So, donors know that giving money is a gamble. Why do wealthy people give so much? Some are gambling that they're backing the winner, and want to have influence after the candidate takes office. Some give to both sides, so they're on record for donating to the winner either way. And some just believe in their chosen candidate, whether they need the money or not. <laughs>